Welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser and we're back with the room. So, at the end of the last episode, we had just unlocked a second seal, which was that one, I believe, not that it really matters, and that has opened this thing up over here. I haven't any idea what this is supposed to do, so let's have a closer look, shall we? What have we got? We've got constellation of an eye. We've got... Okay, bottom of it is a cog up. Right, that doesn't seem to do much. Okay, something's supposed to go in there. About this thing. Now we've got a planet. Oh, it looks like a globe of Earth. Of, well, a globe of some description it might be Earth. It's hard to tell from this angle. That doesn't do anything. That's. I'm guessing there's a piece supposed to go in there. Okay. Oh, we've got something at the side requiring a screwdriver, which we don't have. We have an alchemical symbol. I can't remember which one that is, though. Pull out again. Something up here that requires another key we don't have. Oh, wow, there's all sorts on this side. We've got a crank, but I'm going to need to put cogs on these locations to connect to there, it would seem. Okay. Oh! Okay, that did a thing! Oh, well, there's one of those alchemical symbols again. So, do I do something? Okay. So, this puzzle's going to involve solving these symbols. That symbol will then turn the wheel, perhaps, to the corner so I can get things out. I don't know. There's nothing I can do right now. Let's get back to this thing. So that's a spinny knob thing. Which we had a similar one of these over at the uh, the night at the top. That's still in nothing mind. Okay. Anything on the top that... No, I can't seem to zoom in up here. Okay, so now we'll get everything through the magic eye of magic. And... no. Oh. Well, aside from telling me this needs to turn that way, which is all very well, but I can't do anything with it at the moment, so... Less magic eye of magic, more... Knight's Templar, presumably. There's, there's something behind that knight. Uh, no, that doesn't make anything any easier. So this is a... Well, this has got a square on it. Double check with the, uh, the magic eye. Nope, now to here. Okay, so that's got a, a square within a square on it. And that here is a square within a square. So if I... I wonder. Is the idea that it wants me to get this black corner there? Will that have rotated? It has rotated this! Okay. So, rotating... That other piece got that to rotate. So, applying the same logic, this one wants to be... Like that. Huzzah! So we've found the... Triangle. Ah, aha! Fortunately, I didn't look which one it is, so let's assume it's that one. Right, that just leaves this circle, which is right here, as it happens. Yeah, you can actually see in the uh, the corner there, turning this turns the uh, corner piece. I don't know what to call it. So actually, if I'd started with that one, which was in line of sight, which is entirely possible when it zoomed me in in the first place, it was sort of putting that in one corner to show me. I can't remember. We'll look at the playback to figure that out. So, what's in here? We've got a rubber band and a cog. 
Okay. Well, there's only one place for the cogs to go. 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 No, no. Not there. There. Here. There. There we go. So I need to change this back over here to make that do a thing. So that's got that spinning, which is open. Ah, open this thing up. Gives me a screwdriver. Isn't that nice? No, I don't want to stay over here. There's going to be something I can do with this elastic band. Can I connect these two? I can just connect these two cogs together, surely, using the elastic band. That's that's how this works. I know it doesn't shut. Okay, so screwdriver over here. There's nothing on the screwdriver I need to know about. <laughs> nope. Get back. Screwdriver. Really? I've got to do all this by hand. Oh, this is busy work. This is just busy work. And swiggle, do the swiggle. There we do. Oh. No, there we are. Stay there. Peculiar folding key. Interesting. Okay, so I can't get that to start going again. Well, let's look at this key, shall we? Um, oh, okay, so I do have to line it up to make a specific combination of keys? I don't know. Alright, well, for the moment, let's uh, use the folding key on that. No? Is that alright? Doesn't even give me any um, message saying, oh, it's not quite the right shape or something. So. There's nowhere else I haven't uh, used a key yet, isn't there? Oh! <laughs> yeah, here, as it turns out. So I need T at the top. I need this over here with that, that over there with that. Is that the right way around? Is that the right way around? Up, down, up, down. Um, no. That right? Yes. Get in the thing. Okay, that's got me a medium sized cog. Right, well, back to the cogwheel. That can go there. But I can take it off if I need to. Oh, isn't that convenient? So that's doing this, that's turning that to get me the final cog. Right, cocky one, cocky two, speedy spinny. Hmm. Okay. None of these other ones feel like coming off for me. All right. Does it reach there? Does it reach there. Okay. No, I can't take any of these off from here. That's interesting. Oops. That doesn't reach from either of those locations, because I think these cogs are the same size. Interesting. I'll keep both of them on me for now. I've not missed anything else from when it uh, raised up, have I? Doesn't look like it. So, I'm wondering if the next puzzle piece involves these knights somehow? Well, I can't think you do anything with these knights. Well, I can see there is a... I can see there's something behind this one. But I don't seem to be able to uh, interact with them in any way, shape, or form. Yet, at least.
Wait, can I put a cog in here? I don't think I can put a cog in here. I can't put a cog in here. Oh, magic, I have magic, so I'm helping. Can I spin this quickly? Nah, no, not that. Okay. Can I take off one of these cogs? Is that the solution here? Ooh, I've used this elastic band, yes. They I haven't seen anywhere to use the elastic band, so. Okay, well I'll have to keep looking. So put on the uh, magic eye of magic if I spot any hidden secrets have thus far been kept from mine eyes. I'm not betting any money on there being a secret I haven't seen yet, but you never know. Okay, that didn't seem to achieve anything. Oh, bloody hell, I am an idiot. There you go. I had been given all the pieces, I was just a dub. I even joked about putting the elastic band on there earlier. Okay, that's spinning. Oh, that gave me a handle. Okay, presumably goes in here. Is it this? Is this what goes in there? No? Oh, it's a key. So it told me it's a handle, and actually it's a key. Look, I can see the... You want me to do something to it? Hey. There we are, a key. Oh. And a note. Certainly an old photograph. Well, I can't look at it through the magic eye of magic. On the back, Rev 605. Okay. Right, key. Open this. Oh, hang on. That symbol means the magic eye of magic. That's. Oh, I can turn this so find. Find the place where all the lines meet up, I think. Hmm. Got a, oh, I see, oh, I see it from above, I think. This is awkward to position. That goes there, that must then go there. There we are. Did it. Oh, that gave me the shield, which will be the missing item of 90 night up here. Have that. Wait, have it. No? There we go. We just didn't want to take it for a second. So now I've got an oval gemstone. Which presumably is the missing part from here. Right, so now I can turn this. Which way do I want me to turn it? That way to 605. Six oh five. Oh, and we've finished the last uh, seal. And now I've got another box. <sighs> so I opened a safe to find a box, I opened a box to find a smaller box. Well, let's keep going, why not? Okay. We'll look at the box first, then we'll put on the magic eye of magic, and then we'll uh, figure out what puzzles we got next. So. More rotating keys. Oh, I still got my photograph though. So this is apparently necessary for this puzzle. 
Okay. Right. Let's have a look. Do the magic guy magic. Now up there. Oh, that's a thing. There we go. Found a switch. Opened up a box. Let's get rid of this. A box and oh, more time for use of my amazing voice acting. My research fell into the null. Oh, sorry. I'll start that again because I put the word fell in there for some reason. My research into the null element continues at pace. Given the nature of its origin, I am increasingly convinced that it is somehow tied to my very soul. Its properties are becoming clear. It derives a colossal energy from somewhere. I have fashioned a device through which to channel and focus it. But I am fearful of further experimentation. I lack the understanding to control it. That's four of seven. So here's this uh, the symbol again. It's actually part of the device to control the, uh, the null element. A box with a puzzle. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. I was looking at this side over here going, well, I've got to get this lined up. But actually, the puzzle is... I've got a ball. So I need to figure out... Uh, Actually, it's a case of rotating it, putting it on a different thing. So, hang on, which one lines up with this? That one does. And exclusively that one. So what else does this line up with? It lines up with this. So actually... My reconnect. Oh, no, no, sorry, I'm getting... Except for that. Up there. I can then put you on here. I can then put you on here. Which then means I can send you all the way around onto this. And thus connect you into there. Puzzle solved. Got the key. Right. So now we need to find a key hole. What are you? Are you a thing? Not currently, it would seem. That's a keyhole. Key in the thing. Twiddle, twiddle. Yeah. Now I can move this. Oh, it's another one of these. Right, so one, two, three, four. Oh, three, four, five, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. No. So four, oops. Okay, five, four, three, I'm going to guess, nope, five, four, four, five, yep, and then I can just turn it all the way to this way, there we go. Ooh. Right, now so, piece of paper. Does the viewing lens, as is, do much? Now you're going to tell me to use the magic eyeglass again, aren't you? Nope. I've angered it. Sigil. Okay. Oh, wow, and it stays there on the after I've. Uh, Okay. Oh, and I found a square peg as well. Now, if only there was a round hole to put that in. Can you do a thing? That doesn't seem to do much at the moment. Oh! Alright. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. 
of these puzzles. There we go. And now I can put the square peg in a square hole. Which they gives me sigil. Okay, I am accidentally stumbling myself my work. Sorry. Let me try this sentence again. I've had some coffee, it hasn't quite kicked in yet, okay? I'm accidentally stumbling my way through these puzzles accidentally in the right order. But there you go. Oh, it's Sig Ill. I've done it again. I can't spell. I'm sorry. I am mildly dyslexic, and it does occasionally reveal itself in the weirdest possible times. Okay, I've got a blue crystal and another opportunity for voice acting. Go. July 29th. A new discovery has shaken me to my core. To investigate the refractive properties of the null element, I fashioned lenses from it. To wear one is troubling and exhausting in equal measure, and I am shown visions that are beyond my comprehension. The visions turn darker the deeper into the earth I go. I have relocated my study to the North Tower. I can no longer visit the wine cellar. Okay, what does that have to do with this contraption down here? I'm not convinced any of this diagram makes sense, but okay. Right. Got a blue thing. Can I have a look at you? What do you do? You don't seem to do a lot, but you are a particular shaped base, so. You go over. Oh. I can't drag it anywhere. Maybe there's something I can do. Is there anything to it from here? No. Oh. There's my dog having a yap yap in the background again. Okay, can, can I? No, I, I can't drag it. Well, it's only usable when I'm zoomed in now. So, what? There's nothing to do with it though. Now I can't put my lens on first, have a look at it. Okay, so I'm supposed to do something thing with it. Ah, this is weak. I am fully aware that everything that just came out of my mouth was neither sentences or even noises particularly. The controls for looking at items are a bit stiff. It's really hard to I to drag my mouse for ages to look at the top when actually it would be nicer to have to move the mouse less to uh, create more of an impact on the item on turning. I don't know, nothing's happening, I don't know what to do. Alright, let's keep examining, maybe... What's this? Oh, I've got to be zoomed into here. Okay, so that's what it meant by zoomed in. So... Oh. I've got to be able to zoom in on one of these things. Here we go. I should focus on the size of this box for now. Right, so whatever I'm doing, uh, no, 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 not this one. I think it's this is what I'm after. Because that has the same base set there. Okay. In goes the magic crystal of magicness. That's now glowing. Oh, well, I can focus the beam using this. How much do I want to focus? There we are. That much, apparently. How much do I want to focus this beam? Gives me a flywheel, okay, with a cross shape in it. I just saw a cross shaped thing on the box. Here we go, go in there. Oh, gave me a handle, gave me a thing. Oh, <laughs> and another thing. Nice. Hexagonal piece of map. With a little peg in it. Now I think right when we started there was a place that, that went, so we can look for that in a moment. This the use of this will presumably become apparent when we need it. Uh, can I attach it to the front of this thing? I very much doubt it. As it goes there. Oh no, a thing came out of that, didn't it? Uh, here we go. Oh wait, hang on, that's not the right shape. You transform in some regard? No? Ah. 
No, it doesn't move, the globe does. Of course the globe moves. It's a stupid thing to try and say. Alright, so now I've got a handle. Oh, that's where Sigil was. Okay. Here we go. This looks like a slot for a handle. Spin, spin. Hmm, there's nothing here. I wonder what is the magic thing of magic again, isn't it? So now I've got to find the right angle. Oh, I can turn this. Right, so in other words, let's go over here, turn this until it lines up. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> there it is. Now, big. And it turned into a button. An intricate wooden box. Okay. This is indeed a box. Um, oh. Okay. A box that turned pointy. Right, so now I've got a pointy box. So, where is a slot for a pointy box? On the top. Oh, there it is. Pointy box. Gave me... A telescope. Right. Giving me the telescope gave me... Nada. Okay, on with the... Magic Eye of Magic. Oh, okay, it didn't give me any more information. Two, three, four, five, four. Hey. What? I don't get it. Can I do? No. It's just a thing to look at. Okay, um, I'm guessing it has something to do with this thing, but... Okay, let me look at this again. So... I'm guessing it's... This is weird. One, two, three, four, five. I... I'm not seeing the connection between what I'm seeing here and this grid here. So either I have five stars or the sixth. Either the sixth. I think I've got six spots I've got to put things. That doesn't help. So if I had to make six spots. So they only need to divide up into six? There's a six block there, maybe, but that corner there's dark, so that one, this one, I don't know, this is one, two, three, I don't know, this is an interesting logical leap you're trying to make me uh, work through game. Oh, don't 
dia kayaknya I'm guessing it has to do with some of these points are brighter than others, but it's so vague that you, I can't really tell. So unless I'm completely missing the point of something, I've got to come back to it in a bit. I'm going to assume I've got to come back to it in a bit. I haven't found anything for this dude up here yet. Also not seeing anywhere for it to go either, so let's look again with the magic eye of magic. Maybe I've missed something here. Because some of the changes are quite subtle. Hang on a minute, why are these ones blacked out? I'm pretty sure this question mark appears a hint system as well, so I could always use that to, uh, well, give myself a hint, but I don't want to. It's not if I can help it. I cannot see the logic of what I'm supposed to take from this. Aww. I was doing quite well with this box up until that point, but I've hit a rather sudden dead end with it. Assuming there's not another. What's all this? I think there's something that's going to open later. But... Just double check there's nothing at the bottom that uh, I can open that I haven't figured out yet. At the top I can interact with. Can't take that back in. Can I take it back out? No, just you go in, you stay. Hmm. Oh, was that a time limit for the day as well? Yeah, you say that, but. Alright, I'll, I'll relent. What's the hint? Oh, I have to go back to the beam of light. Okay, I, I'm not happy with that. That wasn't. I suppose it was a uh, refraction beam, so it should have been obvious, but. Okay. Done something. Do I have 
to press the other button. No. Press either button makes it do that, but I can't see what doing that does. Oh! Okay. I think I see what I need to do. Right, okay, so... Press all the buttons before the time limit. Um... No, no, no. Ah, damn. Okay. I don't get why there are two buttons on this one, but okay. Button. 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 Ah. Star piece. Neat. Okay. Back to our globe. We'll put the star piece in. We'll see what that gives us. But we will be calling it an episode there. So prepare thyself. Gee, thanks. All right, I guess I'll figure out what all this is about next time. Why are you still here? I told you the video was ending. Bye.